Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's Adam Repos Vox and welcome back to another tutorial. This is kind of a Windows 10 tips tutorial, but it also applies to pretty much anything else. This tutorial is on how to open up zip files, rar files, .7z files, etc. And this is specifically stemming from my tutorial on how to emulate Game Boy Advance games. Someone's like, okay, well I downloaded the ROM. For example, I downloaded from Emu Paradise, Pokemon Emerald and it's in a zip file instead of a GBA file. Well, a zip file is simply an archive. It is just basically a sealed up version of the file to keep it from corrupting, to keep it from taking up as much, spa as much space. Every now and then zip files and seven zip files and things like that, can comp it's, it's considered file compression. So it can actually make the files smaller and it keeps them from being corrupted quite as much and you can password protect it and things like that. And like I said, it does come in a few different formats. There's zip, there's .rar, there's .7z, like for this uh, music file I have here, and they all open up pretty much the same way. And the program I'm going to point you towards to use for this is called 7-zip, and you get it from 7-zip.org, not 7-zip.com. That is a malware site, but I will post a link to it in the description below. Just go to that link and download the installer. If you have 32-bit or 64-bit, pick that one, and if you don't know which one to pick, just pick 32-bit and you'll be okay. Now, by default, it, your, once you install it, your computer may still not open it up in 7-zip. What you're, what you're going to want to do is find your zip file, right-click it, go to Properties, and then where it says Opens With, it might just say Windows Explorer or some other program, click Change, and for the first time that you do this, 7-zip file manager may not show up. Click More Apps. If it doesn't show up in this list either, then go to Look for another app on this PC. If you downloaded the 32-bit, uh, it may be in Program Files x86 if you have that folder. If you downloaded 64-bit, it'll just be in Program Files, 7-zip, and you want the 7-zipfm.exe. That's 7-zip file manager. That'll be what actually opens up your file. 7-zg will not work. You want 7-zfm.exe. Double-click it or click OK, and then click Apply and OK. And then every time you open up, double-click a zip file, it will open up in 7-zip. And here you have the GBA file. Now, from this point, you can either drag it out into a folder to extract it, or you can specifically click Extract and tell it where to go. Also, if you know, you know that there's only one file in there or what have you, you can right-click it, go to 7-zip, and do a couple things with that. And you can also use this program to create zip, 7-zip, RAR, etc. or archives to store your files in. So, pretty useful tool, totally open source, totally free, very strong project that gets or a very uh, a project that gets my very strong recommendation highly recommend you check it out link to it will be in the description below thank you so much for watching be sure to smash the like button if this helped you out don't forget to subscribe for more awesome tech tips and tutorials and all that jazz and otherwise i'll catch you in the next video